Mothers and young children from Central America crowd a bus station in Phoenix, Arizona. They were dropped off here by U.S. Border Patrol officials and left to fend for themselves. In the past two months, tens of thousands of Central American women and children have been escaping intolerable violence and poverty at home, believing they can get legal status in the U.S. About 1,000 unaccompanied children who turned themselves in to the Border Patrol are being held in this warehouse in Nogales, Arizona. They were transferred from Texas, where government shelters have been overwhelmed. News media are not permitted inside, but a group of local clergy who toured the building said the conditions are squalid. Looks like a prison in there, and these are not prisoners. Uh, these, are, these are minors, these are children. They anticipate another 35 to 4,000 young people in the next three to four days just here at this facility. And I'm going to tell you, half of that warehouse over there has been turned into uh, some kind of uh, human cattle pen. Photos obtained by Al Jazeera show conditions inside the warehouse where children ranging from infants to 17-year-olds sleep on thin foam pads with foil-lined plastic blankets. A handful of portable toilets is available. You can see the anxiety in their face and there's no hope and uh, dirty, they haven't showered in I don't know how many days. U.S. officials seem to have been caught completely off guard by the size and speed of the influx. In addition to this Border Patrol warehouse, the U.S. government is setting up emergency shelters for the migrant children on military bases in Texas, Oklahoma, and California. U.S. officials estimate that more than 60,000 migrants from El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala will attempt to enter the country this year. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Nogales, Arizona.